a watt level. reflected power for a hundred watt forward power. That's right. pretty impressive. A lot of times it's over a watt or two. Interaction so corp tuning. <laughs> yeah. Again, I'm using a different apparatus before. And you just switch the frequency amp. using uh, this switch right here, right. right? So 40. It's operating at 40 megahertz now. No, 60. 60. 60. If I toggle it to channel one, it would be operating at 40 megahertz. Right. Any readjustment to the brack condition? I mean, how do you well, basically uh, set an optimal brag angle for both frequencies since both frequencies have their own brag angle? I like to give 60 a priority because it's going to be a little bit less at 40, but if you peak 40, you're going to lose more when you shift to 60 megahertz. And kind of like a give and take, you have to balance it, uh, give a little more peak to the 60 side and I barely have to adjust it when I shift to 40. I so you ideally should almost be at the same efficiency. So you set it to control. you set it for 60 and 40, the efficiency at 40 when it's set to a bright condition of 60 is should be rel acceptable. Rel relatively close. I might have to adjust it a little bit back and forth to, uh, but I lean for the ideal peak efficiency a little more at the 60 I've noticed because if you give it to the 40 you take it away from the, the efficiency of 60 megahertz, right? It's it's more uh, it's the 60 like megahertz is more delicate than the 40 megahertz. Seems like you. It's almost like you're working with a BK, but with that I have to go on both sides. Uh, first order. That's a different model for those of you that don't know what a BK is. All right.